Welcome back. Now this is the next part of the, the uh, drawing process. We've marked out using a whole series of guidelines and I know it looks a bit messy but as we go through this process you'll understand and you'll see um, how these are important and we can remove them once we've finished anyway. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to draw some little rectangles on this top surface here to create a joint for the legs to be attached by. Uh, we need to open the object in edit mode because we've made it a group and to do that we double click on the object and you notice the guidelines have disappeared to a certain degree but they're still there and if we zoom in closely uh, and to do that you use your two fingers on the trackpad up and down um, I'm going to hit the R for rectangle tool I'm going to start in that corner there I'm going to come across and I'm going to type in the numbers 40 comma 10 I'm going to go to this guideline over here click and that's 40 comma 10. Now these are the guidelines that are 38 millimeters in from the end. So I'll zoom out again, come into this side, and I'm going to, now these are on the top surface, have to start from the edge, move along, 40 comma 10, and then finally on this end over here, I oh, can't see that properly, I'll zoom in a bit closer, click, 40 comma 10. Now, each one of those represents a joint for a leg to go in. Now, how do we create that joint? Well, we're going to use the push-pull tool. P is for push-pull. Click on that surface there, and pull down and touch that bottom edge. Touch the bottom edge. Click on there. I'm going to use this side because it's the same distance on the other side and I don't, can't see the other side, so I'll click there uh, again click there and you'll see that they've all gone down. Now, that creates the joint, but we want our sides to actually be tapered in to create a visual interest. And so to do that, we need to take this bottom edge and move it in. And that's why we've got this five mil guideline there. Now, the reason we didn't do this before we did the cutout is it messes up the drawing. It's much easier to do this way. But there's an extra step you need to do to move those edges. First thing is you're going to click on that line there, holding the shift key down, you go and select that line and that line. Now you've got all three lines selected, we can hit M for move. Click on this bottom corner and just drag it across and line it up with that five mil guideline. And just repeat that process on the other side. So, I use the orbit key, which is O for orbit. I move around to the other side to look at it. I'm going to hit the um, space bar, use selection. I'll select that, not that surface, the line. Not Don't select the surface that will move the whole surface across rather than that center bottom edge. Okay, so all these lines are selected. I zoom in on that corner. Select M for move. Click on the corner. Move to that 5mm line. Now, if I go Shift Z, it'll expand out, and I use Orbit, and you'll see that both sides now are tapered all the way along, and on the other side as well. Now you notice it's 10 mils up the top, only five mils down the bottom. So the next step is we're going to actually cut this block right down the middle. Now this wouldn't normally be the next step when we're making it, but it's easier to do the drawing this way, and so. What we're going to do is we're going to go zoom in on this end here. I'm going to use this center line to draw a rectangle on the end. So starting with the intersection there, coming down, and we're going to type in 1.5 comma 32. So we're going to, it's a little cut, 1.5 millimeters wide. Not a big deal. We're going to push that now right through to the other end. So touch that other surface there. And at the other end, you'll notice that there's a little line going across the top here. There's a surface in there. We need to remove, remove that. So I'm going to hit E for a razor. I'm just going to get rid of that line. Now, if I move around a little bit more, you'll see there's actually one right down the bottom there, at the bottom of the groove. Uh, I can't see it quite yet, but you'll see it in there now, the bottom there. So I'm going to zoom right in. I'm going to remove that one too. 
we do, they will interfere with the drawing later on. Now, 1.5 is half a 3, and the actual groove needs to be 3, but we needed to do it from the halfway line. So because I've done it halfway one way, we need to now push that surface across. So we hit the push-pull key, I'm going to get this little surface in here, and I'm going to move that across 1.5 millimetres. And you'll notice that we now have a 3 mil gap, which is um, one and a half mils each side of the halfway. And our block is in two halves. All right, so we're progressing pretty well. We've got one more step before we stop this section and then go on to the next section. And that is we're going to put three holes in this top. Now the center for each one of those holes is the intersection here. There's the intersection there, there's one up here. Before we do that, however, you notice that I've clicked off the object, it's no longer in edit mode. I need it to be in edit mode. So I'm going to double click again. Halo's there, it's in edit mode. I zoom in on that circle. I'm going to use the intersection of these lines here as the center of the circle. I'm going to press C for circle. It says intersection, click once, and I'm going to type in the number 25. That's the radius of the circle I'm drawing. Now two things happen. We get a circle, but you'll also notice there's a bit of material in here across the gap. Now we don't want that there, we're going to erase it. So if we hit E for erase, we click on that. Ah, get it out, that's the things in the right. Click on that there, and you'll see that bit goes away. You click on that one, and that bit goes away. But you've got to be very careful that you don't remove this surface in here, or this surface in here, because it will wreck your drawing later on. So double check you haven't done that. You've only removed the little lines. All we've got to do now is use the push-pull tool, push this down 10 millimeters and the same on this side but this time we don't have to type in 10 we just need to we just need to push it down and touch that surface and it'll be the same okay now we're going to repeat that again in the middle and the middles over here so C the circle onto that surface there type in 25 enter zoom out E for arrays, remove that material in there, remove that material there. And I'm going to remove this one here. Watch. No, it hasn't. That's good. But if I was to select that surface and delete it, you'll, I'll do that right now. I'll select that surface there and delete, and you'll see what happens. It opens up. There's a big void. We don't want that, so I'll undo that. Now, again. P, touch this surface here to make it the same. P, touch this surface here to make it the same. And repeat one more time at this intersection here. So C for circle on the intersection. Click once, drag, 25, enter. E for arrays, remove that line there. Zoom in, zoom in on that one there. Remove that line there. Okay. P, push pull, touch this surface, push pull, touch that surface. Go to shift set to zoom in, and you'll notice we've progressed pretty quickly. In fact, we've got to the point where we don't need a lot of these guidelines. I'm going to show you how to remove those, and you can do that several different ways. But if you only want to remove some, it's best to select them first. So I'm going to click on that, hit the delete key, click on that, delete key, click that. Now the only ones we, we want to stay there are these ones at 38 millimeters we don't want those they're the only ones we need now so we'll get rid of the rest of them click delete now if you accidentally delete something you don't want to delete all you got to do is just go command Z and that will undo so we've only got the two uh, lines at each end for the 38 millimeters. We'll need those in a sec, um, and the rest of it is being progressing pretty well. We're almost there. We just got to draw the legs and a couple of stretches on the bottom, and we're finished. All right, we'll just stop there and.